Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a REST API to send a JSON object from the client. Well, if you can see this, you know, Kafka architecture over here. In previous lecture, we have created a Kafka producer for JSON, you know, serializer, right? In this lecture, we'll create a simple REST API that will send a JSON object in a request. And then Kafka producer will basically send that JSON object to the Kafka topic. All right, great. Let's head over to the integer idea. Well, head over to the controller package. Right click on the controller package, new and then choose Java class. And let's give class name as JSON message controller. Hit enter and let's annotate this class with at rest controller annotation. And let's use one more annotation that is at request mapping annotation and then pass the base url that is api slash v1 slash kafka all right and let's go and let's inject kafka producer that is json kafka producer so private and then json kafka producer and this is the kafka producer and let's use constructor based dependency injection so let's generate the constructor so again we don't have to use at atoid annotation here because this is the spring bin it has only one single parameterized constructor so spring will automatically take care of injecting this dependency now next create a method over here public and then provide a return type as a response entity and then pass string as a type okay and then let's say the method name is something like publish and then pass user object as a parameter okay perfect and let's annotate this method with add post pumping annotation so this will basically handle http post request and then provide the url that is publish and let's use add request body annotation to you know automatically convert json into java object and then let's call kafka producer and then its method send message and then pass user object to it and then simply return response entity dot okay message sent to kafka topic let's say json message instead of message let's call json message okay perfect now we have created a simple rest endpoint which will handle HTTP POST request and it will process the JSON object from the HTTP request. Okay, perfect. Now what we'll do, we'll run the Spring Boot application and let's see how the Kafka producer will send a JSON message to the Kafka topic. So let me stop the existing server and let me restart the Spring Boot application. And here you can see Spring Boot application is up and running in an embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Let's go and let's use Postman REST client to call the REST API. So I'm going to open the Postman client over here and choose HTTP POST method and then type HTTP colon localhost and then 8080 slash api slash v1 slash kafka slash publish okay so this is the url and then we need to pass the json object in a http request right so go to headers not headers go to body and then raw and then choose content type as a json and in a body we need to pass the user you know json object right so let's have id so let's say id equal to one id colon one and then user first name let's say ramesh and then user last name let's say furthering okay perfect now let's go and let's hit the send button over here and there we go we got a success response that is 200 okay and the message is json message sent to the kafka topic now let's go ahead and let's see whether this json message you know has sent to the kafka topic or not 
so we can verify it from the command line so you can just type this command okay and you can able to see this command will basically consume the message from the kafka topic and here you can see this is the json object from the kafka topic it means that we have successfully written a kafka producer to produce the json message and send to the kafka topic isn't it now let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and if you go to console you can able to see there is a exception so this kafka consumer we have created in one of the previous lecture right and this kafka consumer has subscribed to the topic java guides and this java guides topic has a you know message of type string but we have just sent a json right and this consume method has a message of type string this should be a user right but it has a string type that's why you can able to see the error in a console so what we can do is we can basically create a one more topic to send only the json messages so go to kafka topic the kafka topic config and here let's create a one more topic so let me simply copy this bin and paste it here and let's say java guides underscore json and let's change the name as well that is java guide json topic now let's head over to the json kafka producer and let's you know change the topic name from java guides to java guides underscore json now this json kafka producer will send the message to this topic that is java guides underscore json topic okay now let's run the spring boot application and let's see how this works now let me run the spring boot project and our spring boot application is up and running in an embedded tomcat server on port 8080 now let's send the json i mean let's call this rest api to send a json object in a request so let me call this send button and there we go now let's go to command line over here and here what we'll do we'll simply uh, pass the topic name that is java guides underscore json hit enter and there we go you can able to see this topic that is java guides underscore json topic contains this json message okay now let's head over to the integer idea and in a console you can able to see there are no errors or no exceptions it means that we have created a separate kafka topic to store the json messages okay in next lecture we will create a kafka consumer to consume the json message and it will automatically convert json into java object all right great i will see you in the next lecture